Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniela and if you're new here, I make upcycling videos and also some basic tutorials for sewing. In this video, we will be seeing how did I make this satin bias skirt without the belt. To make this skirt, I have used one and a half meter of satin, an invisible zip and an elastic band. You do not require a lot of things to make this skirt. It is going to be a very easy tutorial. But before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Now without any further delay, let's get into the video. So I have kept the fabric on the floor. There is no fold, nothing. It's just the normal fabric. Now I will mark a point here, which is at your waist, divide by 1.57 plus length of the skirt that you require. Okay, I've just cut the part there. A little bit of cut is also fine. If you want to cut the whole parallel line, you can do that. Now, you have to fold your fabric like this. You can see how I have folded it. You have to do the exact same thing. It looks like a triangular shape. So, you have to fold it like this and then just pin the pieces. Okay, pin it at the borders. Now, at the tip of the triangle, you have to draw a curve. This curve you need to draw at your waist divide by 1.57, whatever measurement you get. Okay, so keep the tip of your measuring tape at the tip of your triangle and then move it slowly to the other end of the triangle and then join these points together to make a curve. Now measure this curve. This curve should be at least half of your waist measurement, at least. If it's little bit more, it's fine, but it should not be less. Now, I will draw another curve at the distance of half inch from this curve. This is going to be your actual waistline because we will be folding the above part for the finishing. Okay. And now this one should be your waistline plus one inch, which is going to be the seam allowance. Okay. On the sides. Now, don't cut it. I did the mistake. You don't cut it. Because you also need to draw a similar curve at the length of your skirt. Now again, you need to keep the measuring tape tip at the tip of your triangle and then go ahead and mark the length. Whatever length you want of your skirt, you have to take that measurement plus the measurement from the tip of the triangle to the curve. Because that part is going to be removed. So now go ahead and mark similar circle as you did for the waistline okay you can see how i am doing it you have to do the exact same thing make sure you won't move the tip of the measuring tape which is at the tip of the triangle because otherwise you will get uneven measurements which you don't want once you have marked all the points go ahead and join them and then cut the above curve as well as the below curve Once you have done it, it will look like this. Now you will have one side of the skirt which is on fold. I will keep it as it is. On the other side, I will go ahead and attach a zip. I have created a separate video about how to attach a invisible zip. Make sure you check that out and attach the zip in the same manner. Now once this is done, you have to do the finishing of the bottom part. For that, fold the bottom part once like this. You can keep a little more and then we can trim the excess fabric later, but then go ahead and stitch it. Once you have stitched it, it will look like this. Now you can see I have some excess fabric here. So what I will do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut this extra fabric. We are doing this because we want a very little hem or the smaller hem at the bottom. Okay, so I will just go ahead and cut it. Even when you are stitching it, you have to stitch it at the very end. So now go ahead and fold it again. And this time the fold should be smaller. And when you are stitching it, you have to stitch it at the very corner. Okay, so fold it and pin it. You can see my hem is so small. 
Once you have pinned it, take it to the sewing machine and stitch it. Now we need to attach the belt or the elastic at the waistline. Okay. The length of your elastic should be exactly similar to your waistline. You can see I have marked the midpoint of the elastic and also of the skirt. Then I will align both these midpoints and then pin the whole elastic around your waist. Your skirt might be longer than your elastic. In that case, you have to stretch the elastic and pin it. You can also see I'm not keeping the elastic over the zip. Okay. So once you have pinned it, it will look like this. Then go ahead and stitch it at the very top. Once you have stitched it, it will look like this. Try to stitch at the very end okay, of the elastic. Now fold this elastic towards the wrong side like this because we stitched it on the right side. Okay, So you will have to fold it like this. And then just see how am I keeping the zip side on the elastic because you have to go ahead and stitch that side as well so that your elastic will stay as it is. Okay, so you have to stitch this part and you have to do the similar thing on the other side of the zip as well. Okay, so this is how it will look like once you have done the stitching and on the other side it looks like this. Now the last thing that you need to do is the zigzag stitch on the edges. I'm not sure if you can see it but there is a zigzag stitch for the finishing and once you have done it your skirt is ready.